Ha ha! <laughs> it's safe. Welcome back to Herbomatic. Today is the long awaited bomb shelter clean out video. We're gonna take all that old furniture out of there and we're gonna put the ratty stuff on the trailer for the dump and we're gonna take the good stuff and we're gonna put it in the shop. We'll explore every bit of it. We'll show you everything. Thanks to our subscribers and our Patreons who make this possible. Let's get started. Safety first. All right, guys, let's take a look at what we need to do here. We gotta clean all this out. There's the old steps. Got a bunch of car parts. The old stair runner. And look at look at all this furniture we gotta get out of here today. Here's all the steps that were missing from the old wood stairs. I don't know why they were taken out and piled up down here, but here they are. Oh, wow. Whoever said those bug bombs wouldn't work against termites was absolutely correct. Okay, so nothing goes in the shop then. There's a gecko. Or his oh. tail fell off just now. Do you see oh, it? Oh, yeah. We spooked a gecko, and as a peace offering, he's left his tail here. Oh. 
Where are you going to stand? Oops, the chair got stuck what? under that ledge. Tried to break it. Jeez. Yeah, so this is going to the dump. There's termite tubes on this one too. Some kind of tag right here. Just pull it out of there. Number 10 comment wins the thing of grease. This is pretty good. This is Molly Fortified. You can't get this anywhere. Let <laughs> me see that, Jim. God, they upholstered the legs and everything. A date on here? What do yeah. you think it is? I'm going to guess 88. It's 97. Oh my god. I think that spot is. Oh, I don't know why there's so many stains underneath the chair. Excuse me, but behind the tag here, you can see the termites have gotten oh, into the hickory here. Gross. Yeah, it's a tabletop or something. Oh. They're mating. Take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> you get a little bit of excitement if you sit in this one. <laughs> Is that a Macy's bag? There's something in it. All right, your very own Herbomatic plate hanger. Number, number uh, I don't know, 17th comment could win this uh, plate hanger. Comes with this beautiful gift bag, ready to go. Keep it for yourself or give it to a loved one. Yellow pages, A through L. Well, these are still pretty useful, guys. I mean, they're a little out of date, but I mean. Here's a shout out to this uh, channel sponsor right here. VIP Carpet Service, 957-2229. Uh, it looks like a little animal should have put this into here and brought little rocks in. <laughs> that was the squirrel that was living in here. Mm -hmm. For years, guys, I had a squirrel that lived on the property and would live down in the bomb shelter and it would carry oranges down here. The door was stuck with a gap about yay wide and it would bring little oranges down to eat. And you could see when it would grab an orange too big because it would be wedged in that door crack. And there was different size oranges and the ones he could fit through, he pulled in here and ate them. But he also like shredded these newspapers and brought in these little rocks and stuff. It was pretty funny. And I was fine with them and then he started chewing the wires in my car so I trapped them and released them out in the wild. Oh. It's a dead roach in there. It's a dead cockroach? Please! Hey. Uh... <laughs> All right, let's see. Here's this style chair. It's got Blue the burlap. I'm looking to see if it's got any damage. Well, now it does. Here's a new style. I think this is a cockroach egg right here. Oh, good. And he was sitting, the squirrel was sitting here and eating, eating <laughs> oranges and pistachios and stuff. All right, let's pack up all these auto parts and get this big honking box out of here. A brand new overflow kit. A toothbrush. We have a, a stocking. Is this stocking? I don't know what that is. It's a pump for a shampoo powder. No. Ooh, this is 
the rip. Any of you guys know what these are? I've got a couple of them. They're pretty heavy. Oh, <laughs> oh look at that. Mm. Clean some carpets out. Gas Rider. Gas Rider. That's me. There's a failed superhero. <laughs> I'm not the Gas Rider. <laughs> Look at these old products. Subscribe or you're a son of a gun. You sure we shouldn't do some kind of giveaway or something on this guy? I mean, guys. Oh no, why just sit <sighs> off? It looks pretty comfortable, guys. It's got slight termite damage. I mean, where the, oh. where the frame is completely gone, but all the springs are still there. Look at the wood inside, guys. Look at this. Jesus, that's nasty. I didn't notice this chair was actually burned. Yeah, look at the termite damage on this one. It's just gonna be dust by the time it flies out of the trailer. All right, subscriber seven, do you want this folding up couch? It wasn't originally folding up, but it is now. It's very convenient. Now you're just playing with it. What's in here? Is this like fishnet? What is this? Ugh. It's like sh hair? It's... Like horse hair? It's weird. I feel like I can taste it. I mean, you could, I guess. I want to keep that one that's got the Dodge Stealth because that was my first car. Okay. But I mean, that's kind of a stupid reason to keep the can. Okay, here we are for day two of the bomb shelter clean out. <laughs> Gotta get rid of this old stair stringer. Good news is it looks nice and light. Look at the bolts, are square headed bolts. Mm. So this was put in when they built this. What's next? It's in pretty good shape. Yeah, it's not bad. Look at this old antique couch. Bad? What a pile of rocks. The squirrel that used to live in here guy has piled up a bunch of rocks on one end of this couch here. Sad because it was a pretty cool old couch at one point. Mm -hmm. These are little pellets from termites. Take a look at this. See what the termites Completely have done. Wrong. So this couch is going to the dump.
Quit dragging this out and drag that out. Oh, it ratchets. Oh. It's ratchet. Huh. It's your new bed. Nobody be alarmed. It's a foot. It's got toenails on it. Is that how your feet look? No, I have more toes than that. That's where that foot went, huh? Why don't you show us how one might lay on that thing? No, no. <laughs> you could show us. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> now it's clean. Draw me, Jack. Draw me, Jack. I want you to draw me, Jack. How is it? Is it like this? Subscribe. <laughs> okay. Oh man. That's pretty gross. <laughs> Probably has some kind of ancient disease. I don't even know what this thing's all about. Does anybody, does anybody know if this furniture is cool or not? I just don't know. We all know only the fanciest of furnitures have the ratcheting mechanism in them. <laughs> Good, it's kind of stuck on the elevator. Oh, God. Okay. All right. What is that? I don't know. Some kind of little eggs. Oh, good. I think these are, are these cockroach eggs? <sighs> Come on. You count the end of the egg is like a little purse. What's a little seam right there? I heard that if you eat these, they're good luck. No, stop. <laughs> Don't fix my I have mask. to divorce you. <laughs> God. It's the first time I've ever heard the D word out of you. <laughs> what did you do? The sewing machine table is pretty cool, guys. Normally, that foot pedal on the bottom is uh, how you power it, but this one's got a motor. Oh, you know what that is? The motor runs all the time, and this activates the sewing machine. So you push down and that sews. Look at this clutch mechanism. When I step, I step on this pedal, see how it pushes it over into the, into the motor, this cork thing here? So what I'm guessing happens is that motor runs all the time, and then you activate it by pushing down on that. Tell me if I'm wrong, guys, but that's what it looks like as a clutch. It's pretty cool. God, it's disgusting. <laughs> okay, let's try something else. <laughs> wow, are you hot? Huh? Are you hot? Yeah, huh? This is an antique for sure. It's got gold caster wheels in the front. Those old school casters. But in the back, it's just those. I guess it's so that you can like move it like this. I just don't know. <laughs> so you always think you can scoop, but you always have trouble doing it. It's like a normal computer chair. Well, here's termite tubes right here. Ew. Termites got it, guys. One thing that's kind of cool about this, guys, is these antique golden rollers. 
So I'm gonna keep those. Check it for termites. Oh. Here's a cool old folding couch. This has got to be one of the original Haida beds. It's an odd size, isn't it? Lou, register. We've got a string tying it this is a big together. Thing. You can pull that string. See, normally that end has legs, but the wood frame is completely gone. Don't like that. Look at the rot, you guys. Watch this. It's just... Does the back do that too? I don't know, let me see the back. See, there's just not a lot left <laughs> to this couch, guys. Just to show you, I'm not using a lot of force. It's dust. I don't think it's gonna make it. All right, let's put the bed away. The good news is, guys, this isn't awkward or anything. It doesn't have a lot of pinch traps. This thing keeps getting bigger. That's what I want to hear is the springs loading up. <laughs> Back in there. Oops. Oh, I'm bending the frame. Oh, don't. There's a metal thing sticking out of it. <laughs> There's a nail sticking out of the end of it. <laughs> you got a lot more room for activities down here. Next contestant. Three twenty-six eighty-six. Look at all those metal furniture frames. Okay, there's one assembled with the actual backs on it. And there's extra backs up here. So there's more back there. <coughs> so these are termite tubes coming off all this wooden structure up here. And the good news is the main structure is concrete and steel. So termites aren't gonna do too much to that. But you can see on this furniture, 
It's been stacked like this for a while because the tube is coming down this leg, running down the furniture like that. What kind of filler is that? This hairy type substance? If anybody knows, go ahead and comment down below. I read all the comments. We just give it. We'll explore that later. There might be a drain. Ooh. That's kind of cool, actually. <laughs> it is cool. Put the fuzzy seat. Look at the spiders. Oh. Mm. Well, well, well. I don't see any termite damage. Sometimes it seems like some of the, some types of woods, guys, seems like the termites can't eat. I guarantee you that your office chair that you're sitting on right now won't last as long as this one has. Show these pebbles. Look at, oh my God. Look at these pebbles, guys. Does anybody know why a squirrel would pack down all these pebbles down here? This one we can safely get rid of. What makes you say that? <laughs> oh. Almost brought the ceiling down on us. <laughs> it's a little lower each time. What? A little lower each time. I noticed that it's adjustable height. Let's take a look at this one. This baby. Mm. This thing's definitely been to termite town. Listen to that, guys. Take this little dude. Look how tiny this one is. I'm kind of showcasing these 1960s and 70s furniture because this is their last hurrah and they're just cool. The springs are still good. Yeah. If you need a spring, you got it. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. See, this chair is going to need some wood glue. Maybe they can fix it at the time. If we get to 1 million subscribers this year, I'll restore that chair. Okay. Look at the springs on the bottom of this chair. Oh, they came out the bottom? Yeah. Wow. Wow, he was busy. Oh my god. Normally these springs are held in by this fabric, kind of crossed across the bottom. But once the termites ate enough, the springs just shot out the bottom. Look at that. <laughs> All right, you guys. The initial clean out is roughly done. We got rid of all the rotten, like, horribly beyond repair furniture. Some of this may also go on further inspection. A lot less stuff can actually walk through here now. Let's take a little look here. Here's the bathroom. There's the toilet. Wonder where the toilet goes since we're below the city sewer. It'd be interesting later we should pull that toilet and send a camera down the hole and see where it goes. There's still toilet paper there. The tub has seen better days. Let's take a look here. This little area right here looks like it was a kitchen type area. Yeah, so there is plumbing. See, it goes down. There's a water heater down there. So this would have been like the little utility area. There's giant water tanks suspended from the ceiling. In case you guys hadn't seen that before. This looks like the where the water came in from the city to fill up these tanks. All this has to be fixed up. <laughs> it's very warm down here. Hey, hey, you guys, if, if you want to get this muffler for your wife, these things are <laughs> awesome. I'll leave an Amazon link. You can get one of these. I mean, they can make noise, but it's, I mean, it's, it's less than half of what it normally is. So 
You might want to do. If you guys wanted to know what kind of temperature we're dealing with down here, it's 56% humidity and 91 degrees. <laughs> it's touching my arms. <laughs> you all right? Oh. Little, little bit of bug stuff never hurt nobody. You know, some guys take their wife to the Ritz. <laughs> Lucky me. You know, but that's boring after a while. place on earth, the city dump. All right, you guys, I tried to tell the wife I was taking her to a fancy dinner at Applebee's, but uh, when I hooked up the trailer, she didn't believe me, so she didn't show up to the dump. So here we are at the dump. you guys all that rotten stuff from the bomb shelters thrown out i would have swept out the trailer better but uh the wife uh had the broom she was taking it to the grocery store so uh what can i do you know so all right you guys i'll catch you in the next one let's go eat at applebee's by ourselves i'm gonna take a shower and i'm ordering pizza make some babies okay <laughs> pizza babies pizza babies Maybe we'll incorporate the pizza. Oh. Instead of baby making. <laughs> and bring back the food stuff. Ooh. <laughs> A little trail pepperonis up in your body. <laughs>